would be a penis pump. Okay, wait, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we are going to break down seven scientifically proven ways to get a larger penis, bro. Oh, shit. What did I do? Because it's way too big. It's me, Mario. Here we go. Guys, let's be real. Every single person here wants to have a longer schlong. Can we all agree on this? Right? Agree, yeah. Truth. But I made it my life mission with the German Penis Institute. Yeah. We have business <laughs> cards, by the way. To educate people all around the world about penises. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? That's our mission statement. <laughs> and that's why, guys, today I brought a penis expert. A penis sir, you could call him. Would you consider is that a penis, sir? Yeah, I, I've definitely. Yeah, you've definitely gabbled. Been experienced. <laughs> because I want to go through the actionable steps people can take to enhance length, girth, functionality, weight, density. The weight. The weight. Very important. Very important. First question I want to ask you, from a scientific standpoint, how long is your schlong dong currently? <laughs> Mine. Yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I mean, erect, I'd be like eight, eight and a half by eight around. <laughs> wait, wait. You have a square penis? No, it's not a brick. <laughs> so you need a tape measure. Yeah, it's a long tape measure. When you do circumference, you have to go around. Damn, you have some significant <laughs> girth going on. This is like probably the girth of the champagne glass up here, right? No, that's smaller. Good for you. Good for you, Justin. <laughs> what would you say is like the most effective that you could recommend? Just asking for a friend. Just asking for a friend, right? <laughs> but what's like the most effective way to make your schlong long? Longer is harder. You can get injections, right? Injections, but more so for girth. So let's demo. I brought a couple of objects here. You got it? Thank you so much, Riley. Just for lack of a better word, let's just give this one a name. Let's call this one Mario. Here you know, just go. like, mm. say Mario has a lot of length, but a little skinny. Mm. So what would be the best option? Mario's best bet is gonna be to do some sort of a filler. So a filler? that could be fat, Okay. could be silicone, or it could be some sort of a temporary hyaluronic acid based injection just into the skin around. What about the head though? Because yeah. wouldn't it be like big around, but then the head would not it happen? It looks like, like a, a little mushroom. Hershey kiss on the top of yeah. like an eggplant. Yeah. You can augment the gland. You would literally silicone in there. So yeah. you put a needle into the head where the most uh. nerve endings in your entire body are. Yes, and also it is done intentionally for people who feel like that they suffer from having premature ejaculation because it can deaden down some of the senses there, so you last longer. Two for one, guys. We're winning in any way here. You know, I can beat my premature ejaculation. No, I come fast, Justin. Yeah. I come fast. <laughs> no. But your girlfriend must be happy with that, no? No, I don't know. I don't know. It's been an issue. It's been an issue lately. It's gotten mm. better. I will say it's gotten better with experience. However, I still come. <laughs> like, I'm like the flash. But, but you, know? you know, can you recover and go again multiple times is the question. Definitely not. No. No. <laughs> Okay, I lost no, it no, that no, one. What is the pain level of that? Like putting needles into your schlong. Okay, any practitioner is gonna clean you off. They're gonna put something on it as a topical solution to be able to numb you. So okay. it shouldn't be that painful. I mean, it's a needle prick. Or it's a cannula, which should be even less invasive, where they just make a little a little prick and they push the cannula down into the tissue and come back okay, when they put the yeah. filler. But a cannula is a blunt end, but there there should be gliding, almost gliding under the tissue. Did you ever get the STD test where they stick the swab up your pee hole? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I have did had that it. Bother you? Oh, that's horrible. They yeah, take yeah. that metal thing in there and they. Yeah. Okay. Around? No. So for injections, for girth, there's silicone, fats, and there's hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid temporary fillers. And then how long do they last? Hyaluronic acid products, it lasts anywhere from six months to two years. And something like a silicone would be a permanent. And what's the price point on that, right? If I just want to get a little bit more girth, right? Just like a couple, like, you know, like a couple of like inches. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> a, a safe quote, I don't even want to quote, it depends what doctor, where you're going. But I, I bank on 8 to 10,000 a session. Oh. Damn! Damn, that's way more than I thought. Imagine the boost in your confidence with the boost in your dick. Mmm. That's true. Priceless, guys. <laughs> Fillers, you would say, it gives you girth, not so much length. Correct. Cool. Let's move on to the second option then. Say this is you. Actually, this looks pretty solid, actually, I don't know. Say this is you, right? So you get the girth. Clearly, that's like almost as much as you have. That's like your- It's that's, eight inches. Yeah, you got your, it. That's your girth. Okay. That's his girth, ladies and gentlemen. Like, what the fuck? So, Justin, for someone like this, if you want to gain length, what's the best way to gain length? Um, okay, so if you want to have a surgery, you can do a ligament cut. 
Yeah, we talked about that one, right? The ligament cut. Ligament cut, cut the ligament. Normally what's hanging outside your body that's visible as a penis, typically the same amount of tissue is inside. So cutting the ligament, it can push forward. Got it, so, so this is, uh, to demonstrate guys, you cut the ligament here, bloop, and then your penis just, bloop, comes out. Right? As long as you do the aftercare, because if not, it can actually retract. No, open. It could be smaller than that. And nobody wants that, guys. No. Like this would be. <laughs> but also, the potential is that instead of being like this, you may end up being like this. So there's diminished a diminished angle, angle is a yeah. possibility with any ligament cut. Jeff, would you rather have a penis that's just small, up and erect, or would you rather have a long one that just faces down? I think small up and erect, but I could be wrong. Do, do you have to have sex all the time like like this? <laughs> <laughs> Comment below what you would choose. Okay. Do you choose the angle or the length? What can you do if you don't want to get surgery? So, there's things like penis pumps. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's my penis pump. But Whoa! okay. <laughs> is this for a horse, Justin? Uh, like, what is okay, going on? Wait, there is a lot of things to know about penis pumps. Okay, so depending <laughs> if you want girth or you want length. This is how much we need. <laughs> Depending if you want girth or length is how you choose your penis pump. Length. So this would be, for me, I chose this for length because I already have tons of girth because I already have injections into my penis, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So for me, I already filled this on a girth notion, no problem. I wait, 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 wait. You said you fill this? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just going to, for reference, just so you know what we're working with here. Yep. This one, Riley, Jeff, and myself <laughs> could use it together. Like all three of us, <laughs> and we could all still do gain girth with this. I'm telling you right now. And actually, just, that would be a good challenge also at a bonding moment for I all think of us. This is an eight inch around by 10 long. If you're looking to gain length, but not girth, then get something that's more around your girth in an erect state, but get something that's longer in an erect state so that it's pulling the, the torque is being more on the tissue to extend it. Oh my God, my penis probably look like this. I swear to God, <laughs> it would be like- You, you can borrow like, this yeah, one? Yeah. Will it work? It, well, it, will, it will work in any direction you want. <laughs> It'll just like- You did before intercourse, it temporarily increases the blood flow, right? It will hold the blood there. It'll engorge the penis for a period. So a lot of people even wear like, uh, what we call like a cock ring to be able to hold the blood there longer But there are people that say that by doing this on a consistent level you can create micro tears mm -hmm. In the tissue so you may be able to gain some length by stretching the ligament It's an idea that people have said now you'd have to do it a lot It's, it's not like a, a surgery. Yeah, you're talking about somebody who's committed to the process and doing it on a regular basis So you said your schlong don't currently you landing at like some eight by eight, right? Before you started doing all these procedures like what was the increase you saw mm, mm. now the biggest increase I would have seen would have been from the injection yeah yeah and then the lengths just come with increased use of different apparatuses over years but how much length did you gain like I mean are you just packing naturally are you just oh, like oh that was okay I was maybe I've seen an inch gain an inch gain that's good that led me but you're talking that about that led me to solid five you're talking about so I'm, you would be <laughs> you're talking about, about Ten, you're talking about 10 years of fucking around with things. Okay, you have, you have your this? This is Sizegenix, right? Sponsor like of this video, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. You might yeah. not know this, but I've done a YouTube video called I wore a penis extender for 30 days. Yeah. So your natural penis goes inside this. These rods stay and they, these rods go up and down. They can extend or retract. And then this is clipped in. There's apparatus here behind the gland. Then this locks on and, and this then is what pulls. provides the torque to so pull it straight. Okay. Yeah, because I tried that and it's it, it's like a constant pull. You tried it like once. No, I tried it 30 days straight. I was so dumb. I wore it once I was at the airport. I was going through security and it was in Grand Cayman <laughs> Islands and I went through security with this stretching device on yeah. my wiener and it was the most embarrassing place where I had to like talk to this little Caribbean lady mm. and I had to explain to her that I'm currently wearing a penis extender. Mm. My groin always goes off at the airport. I don't know why it would because it's not metal but I, my groin always your goes groin? off. Your groin? Your groin always goes off at the airport. It sounds like you're just at the airport just jerking off everywhere. No, no, no. no. Like, and the only other one I have is the lengthening. So so this one goes around your leg, right? So yeah, it goes like this. this. And then this has a like a bungee cord. This has a leather soft pad mm -hmm. that goes behind See, that's, that's nice, behind yeah. the gland. This gets affixed 
with a little shoelace. Yes. And it has a clip on it, and you clip it to the end, this stretchy cord that's attached <laughs> above the knee. And, and every time pulls. you take a step, it's just like janks. It, it pulls harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we have been using is a very simple dick cup. Have you seen those? <laughs> a lot of models use this. That does not work. No, it does work, you know, because you put it in and it's just like an extra little bolt in there with a nice imprint. Right, this is like a push up bra. All women always wear push, push up, up bras. bras. Well, listen, I mean, women, women have been get able to jobs. modify their body for so long. Right? And if women can be able to have an O shot, men can have a P shot. You know, they've been able to accentuate their breasts, their hips, their right? ass. Everything that sexualizes them, so why shouldn't men be able to have the same options if they want it? Not exactly. to say you have to have it, but it's there if you're interested. Models use it all the time, uh -huh. and it's it saved it saved the day many of times. What instead of that, you there's things like Cialis. It's a vasodilator. Yeah, so it dilates the blood vessels. But okay. yeah, so when you take it orally, it's gonna vasodilate everything in your body. Yeah, Cialis is a little more easy on your system, as not as hard, much of a punch usually, versus something like a Viagra or a Sildenafil. Got it. If you take the whole Bill, literally everything you will see will be tinted blue. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it'll get the job done. Erections are us. Next step would be something called Trimix. Trimix! I've heard of that. I've heard of that. So Trimix. Reno Gold told me about this. Oh, I love yeah. Reno. Yeah, yeah, so he's 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 Trimix is something that's an injectable vasodilator. It only stays locally where you put it, which is amazing. Unlike the pills that you take, which go through your whole body, this one you just take a little bit in a tiny, tiny, tiny little like needle, right? So wait, wait, wait. You what is the scenario though, right? You like inject. Trimix into their into the shaft themselves. Yes, the ejection is into the shaft So obviously you want to try to avoid the vascularity that you see and the hope is that when you inject you're injecting into the cavernosum Oh my god, you cut into the you're saying you have to inject yourself into the cavernosum into the cavernosum, cavernosum. <laughs> but, yeah. but a picture make it scientific right we're like scientists here yeah, right? yeah, so yeah, like yeah. It's the There's two, two cavernosum channels and they connect in the glands the So you have to together. push a needle into you. I mean really into the into side the, of the penis not to surf surface like a Tattoo is literally like in it. Babe, you're really going little. It's listen. It's, it's just a, like a quarter, a quarter inch, and they will give you usually one set a tutorial at the office where they show you how to do it. So this is fully legal. You just go to urologist. You go like, yeah. yo, listen, I gotta be packing more at a gay well, festival. Times are tough. <laughs> times are tough right now. Now listen, they don't recommend that you take Trimix if you have taken Viagra or Cialis within the same day. So I don't be responsible for anyone getting a heart attack and dying. So it should be one or the other. Yeah, yeah. Big um, disclaimer also, yeah, legally. Yeah, yeah, please, yeah, yeah. please. But it's super cool stuff, and it works within five minutes. But, but you still have to kind of get aroused. It's not like it just gives you the hardest on. I would say yes if you're dosing correctly. Now, mm. if you're overdosing, I have met people who went to the hospital with it because they have an erection that's so hard that doesn't go away, that causes them pain, and it actually can then cause the tissue to become damaged. So you have to be careful. Your dick explodes. <laughs> Doesn't it explode? <laughs> it's like your dick Not stuff. exactly, <laughs> but worst case scenario, they take you to the hospital and they have to put a needle inside oh, the head no, and drain no, the no, blood no, out. No, 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 I'm not a big fan of all this. Okay, so you can just use the cock ring and be done with it. How's oh, that? Perfect, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so this is not gonna have much compression. Oh, stop. <laughs> this is mine. This is my cock ring. No. Yeah, I had it custom made. Justin, you really? <laughs> not making us feel better here about ourselves. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think right I still have one for you here. For science, you need that? to prove it to me. Fans, <laughs> fucking task. <laughs> there we go. See, that's better. That's better. I like that. Another non-surgical method mm. would be what I've read a lot about mm. would be Kegel exercises. Kegels is the more tightening your sphincter. I have never heard that word before. <laughs> your butthole. Oh, I know that one. I know that one. From my experience, like it's it, it kind of increases the strength of the erection. Sometimes the issue is not the length itself. It's like sometimes not just getting to full on hardness. Yeah. Right? Right. Then, then just try one of those. Okay. You'll, you'll be fine. All right, guys. Fuck Kegels. We got, we got, fuck Kegels. This is America, y'all. <laughs> this is it. Welcome to America. <laughs> and then also a less invasive one would also be cutting your bush. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate this real quick. I'm gonna demonstrate this real quick. So if this is the carrot right now, you know, if it's here, you, you don't have as much length, right? So once you cut the bush, oh my god, the whole carrot shows, you know what I mean? It's a lame one. I just want to include some that are not like surgical or like some American pharma supporting. Okay. okay. What do you think, you as a penile expert, what is the perfect penile length? 
there's no perfection with it. My interest came from my wants, you know, my wants to be bigger or more showy. Yeah. Not because I actually felt like it was enticing a partner. If anything, I feel like it's partner inhibiting. Hypothetically, five inches. Is that like on the? Is that like enough? Or would you say like you know it could you could could like you know what I mean? Just Ask like, for a friend. Just for you know a friend. what? I think it's all workable depending on the person. All workable. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. You gotta be a bottom, Jeff. That's what you say. You gotta work out the position. You gotta work it out somehow. Is there anything we're missing? Is there anything else we're missing? We don't have this. Let's go! Oh my yes. god! You're good enough. You're good the way you are. But if you think you aren't, you got all the options in the lots world. Of you got lots of options right now. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed this video, go check out the full podcast conversation with Justin Jedlika on my podcast channel. Link in the description below.